Welcome everybody to Sasin and the Impact Luncheon Talk. And today our speaker is Kun Nisakon Kong Hai Tung, who is a corporate citizenship and corporate affairs professional at IBM Thailand. And today she is going to talk about their uh, CSR strategies and how they incorporate um, CSR into their whole organization. Please welcome Kun Nisakon. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your lunch. And now, time for enjoyment. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Um, before starting my session, I would like to hear from you that when you heard the topic about the engaging success, what do you think of engagement in the CSR context? Anyone have any idea? I would like to share anything. Yes, please. Engaging, I mean, what? Like, yes, engaging all stakeholders, which can be, can or cannot be the business stakeholders, communities, um, your yeah, supply chain, and engaging everybody in and promoting it as a culture, even through the organization, not just one section. Okay, it's like market stakeholder approach, right? That's all what I that's all I will walk you through today. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let me start. IBM has been a trailblazers in transformation corporate citizenship from traditional philanthropy into strategic area of social investment. At IBM, we operate the corporate citizenship program from global to country and country to community. We incorporate our business value and our business strategy into our CSR our corporate citizenship programs. At IBM, we don't call it CSR, but we call it corporate citizenship program. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Let me give you a brief detail of IBM. Today, IBM is IBM has been operated over 100 years in IT, technology, and innovation market. Today, IBM offers a solution as a solution <laughs> to the market. Our headquarter is in United States. We have operated over 176 countries over the world, and we have like 100,000 business partners. In Thailand, in Thailand, IBM established since 1952. And now we have three offices located in Thailand. Head office in Bangkok, and then in Chiang Mai and Chonburi. We have over 500 business partners working with IBM here in Thailand. <coughs> when we talk about responsibility at IBM, what we really mean by that? What we really bring our technology to transform the society? This IBM logo represents how IBM pioneered our technology and IT to transform the society. What is this? It is the barcode, one of IBM technology. As of today, IBM working on this cognitive computing era. And this is the quote of our IBM's former founder. That's how we put our corporate citizenship and our responsibility in community, in nation, and world affairs. We put everything into our DNA. Corporate responsibility is in our DNA at IBM. And how we do that? Responsibility at IBM, we apply our technology and expertise 
social problems, to address the social problems. We scale our existing program and maximum and our initiative to maximum the benefit to the society. We empower our employee and other to serve the community. I will explain to you in more detail what we mean by empower our employees. And also we integrate our corporate citizenship and social responsibility into every aspect of our company. When I say in every aspect of our company, what is really mean? These are five core pillars of our responsibility. We're working on supply chain, we're working on environment, governance, community, and as I, I remember. I'm going to highlight on the communities today, but I will touch on a little bit of each, the supply chain. We have the suppliers from over 100 countries. We have the compliance that, and we have the code of conduct that our suppliers have to comply with our code of conduct. In terms of environment, we have violence of environmental programs such as energy, climate protection, and pollution prevention that IBM need to comply uh, in order to operate our business across the globe. In terms of the governance at IBM, IBM has to have the integrity, has to have the transparency, in every day of our routine work. As IBM, IBM value the diversity of the employee and the well-being, well-being of the employee. We have like wide range of the program accommodate those diversity of the employee. And now community. What IBM have what IBM has done for the community under the community pillar. We have been working on education in community. We have been working on problem solving. We have been working on employee engagement and they are still alive in community. We focus on these four areas. And now, as we are a global company, how we can accommodate the social issue or social problems over the world. What is the rationale behind our initiative? First, we're looking at the critical issue in each country. Then, we look at our technology, leverage our expertise and our access. Map this together, and then we come up with the solutions to address these social issues. Today, I'm giving you the sample of the solutions which, is, um, which are employee engagement, education, and also community engagement. By giving you the example of case study that we have done in Thailand and also in, in, in other countries. Let me start with this IBM Smarter City Challenge project. IBM has been delivered three projects in Thailand, which is in Chiang Mai, Shiburi, Kangen. What we really do? The Smarter City Challenge program is the program that IBM invades in social. What we do, we team up our executive from over the world, a group of five to ten executive IBM will go to the country, developing country, and help them working on to solve the problem. For example, such as Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai have a vision to build their city to smarter health and smarter agriculture. What IBM do, we team up five, eight, I'm sorry, eight ex executives of IBM across the world, working with the Chiang Mai governors and the education institution in Chiang Mai to, 
to have the action plan how they can develop TMI to, to be smarter health and smarter agriculture. As of today, as of today we are sorry, as of to as of today we deliver this kind of community project in over 34 countries across the globe. And similarly with the Smart City program, we have the other program called Corporate Service Course. Similar concept and similar idea with the Smart City Challenge, but we work in smaller scale. This means that we decide this program to help the NGO, not-for-profit organization in emerging countries, in developing countries. And also with not only not for profit, not for profit organization, we also working with education institutions to solve the problem. Let's by teaming again, we teaming up our top talent IBM for across the globe, like ten people. Helped those country or those institutions to develop action plan or to address any problem issue in their countries. For example, in Ghana, I cannot remember the name of the organization, but they are working on HIV. They are really struggle on having the database of the HIV, um, HIV patterns in their countries. What IBM do, we team up our talents working on those projects by deploying deploy this team to work on this community assessment in Ghana for three weeks, helping those healthcare organizations gathering the information and decide the architecture of the database to help them bear having their database and working on those HIV to lower rate of HIV in Ghana. That's one of the programs. As of 2015, we have been launching this program since 2008. As of today, we have 2,500 IBML from 55 countries deploying over 550 community assessment. For example, healthcare in Ghana and also we're doing about the water sanitary in Vietnam. And we sent this team to over 33 countries in the world. You might have the question why IBM has to do this kind of community project. We call it triple benefits. First one, those countries, those um, so, pro bono social issues has been addressed, has been solved. Secondly, as we deployed our, our IBM into uncertainty this situation. The IBMers have been the IBM have been developed their leadership skills by working with um, global team, working in unfamiliar uh, environment and also this also make them gain the cultural awareness. Because we send a team maybe from US, send a team from Italy, send a team from French to work in Vietnam, to work in Thailand also. We have this project in Thailand this year. This experience giving them, building, build them the leadership skills capacity. This is the, the result of the survey we have conducted with our IBM who been deployed for this type of project, they tend to have to increase their leadership skills and tend to retain their employee and employment with IBM. And also, we conduct the res the research with the managers of those talent team. They say that this is really improved attitude and motivation and also the sense of skill within a very short period of time. In terms of business, what I can gain by doing this kind of community project? First of all, I will expand the knowledge, 
the IBM's capability in the marketplace. We gain the insight, we gain the global market intelligence by working with those emerging markets. We have the set of data that we can create the commercial solution after that, or even we can we can draw up, draw out, or reach out more to address so another social issue in in um, emerging markets. Um, anyone have any question with this community engagement? Okay, let me move on to the education. One of our highlights under the corporate citizenship program is also about the education. This is the example of the education program of IBM here in Thailand. We have been working with the early learning, with the five to six age children. We're working with the middle school children, and also now what we really emphasize from now and toward the 21st century is that we would like to develop STEM education in Thailand and also across the globe. The reasons why I am working on STEM education, STEM education is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's really significant for IBM to transform our business in next decade because we need those workforce, we need those STEM related graduates to work for IBM as we are the IT technology, we need the engineering and also to have those qualified workforce, we need to really address the cost of education, which is the teacher. How we can build capacity building, capacity of the STEM teacher. That's why this year in Thailand, last year in Thailand, we implemented this project called the Teachers Prize Eyes, where IBM provides online resources for <coughs> STEM education for STEM teachers here in Thailand and also across the globe. This is the example of our IBM education initiative for K-12 programs over the world. But what I'm going to address today is teacher tri-site and also PTIC. I have already touched on the teacher tri-site, but I would like to, to introduce you more. What uh, you understand now the rationale of this project and now what IBM really provide for the teachers. This is the online resources where you can access to this website over the world to help the STEM teachers having more structure, curriculum, having more um, um, tactics to sparking their um, students in everyday classroom. IBM partner with the um, University of New York and New York Hall of Science to create the project space learning, provide free on the websites and also the social networking tools and the integration of the lesson plan with instruction support already provide on the website. And of today, we have 451 lesson plan in 13 languages. What makes this program distinct from the other STEM education is we provide a platform, we provide a community for the teacher over the world that after they look through our program, look through our curriculum, they can initiate or decide or localize their own curriculum or lesson plan and share and share back into this website. This is create the community of practice with free or with free access. The other education program we have is called PTEC. We launched it in 2008. What is the PTEC? PTEC school are innovative public school model. PTEC address the gap of education <coughs> over the world. We have the we have the skill gap that educator. Education cannot produce the workforce that 
meet the needs of the industry. So what PTEC will do? PTEC is the model of the school, the IBM support to blur the line between the mainstream education, vocational education, and also with the private partner. This is the program that really, really aligns with the PPP model by having the public school, having the college, and having the corporate like IBM join together to localize, to, to localize the curriculum. The student under the PTEC program can study in their high school, in their um, core subject, as well as have the chance to study in the college at, in the same time during the summer. And also, they can internship at the IBM, having the mentoring, learning about um, the career skills that need for 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 their career in the future. This is building the career path, not only the fundamental knowledge, but also the 21st century skills for the students. to employee engagement. IBM believes that our IBMers, our employee, have the talent and have the knowledge and expertise that we should leverage this to benefit the community. We have the program called On Demand Community that we implement over the world over a decade. It is to promote and encourage IBM to do more volunteer activity. But it is not the volunteer that like cleaning or doing gardening or that kind of thing. But we would like to encourage our employee to do more skill-based volunteer If you are working for Kubernetes, when you try to implement the volunteer program, I'm sure that you will hear you will hear one of these questions like how we do that what activity we can do, or where we can do this kind of volunteer activity. So I, at IBM, we provide opportunity for, for employee. First, we provide activity toolkit on our website. This is the activity that we provide with the fully materials that our employee can just download it, go to the organization, and use this activity to activity to, his, to help them building on the capacity. For example, one of our IBM in Thailand, he has been working with Pufa Foundations, working with Pufa on a voluntary basis every Saturday. He teaching on the my um, customer satisfaction workshop. He delivering this workshop to Pufa every. First week of Saturday for over four years by leveraging our material on the website, delivering it to help building on the capacity building for the foundation. After then, the after our employee doing this voluntary workshop, uh, voluntary activity, we scale up by volunt our volunteer can have the volunteer hour track on the website. And then what they can do when they we have the we have the certain criteria for employee, they can apply the grant for those organization, for those NGOs or education where they they deliver their voluntary activity. After if they get the the grant approved, those grants will deliver to those organizations where they work with. And to, to apply that grant, to expand their work, the objective to serve our community. For example, last year our employee team of 10 people and delivering <coughs> career development to one of the schools out of Bangkok. 
they and then they reach the the criteria of on demand community. They apply the grant for that school and of course the school get approved and get the grant afterward for a thousand US dollar. And now the school using that hundred uh, thousand US dollar to initiate their own STEM education program within the school, the career development to help and uh, to help those five hundred students in the schools. That's how we scale up our employee engagement for volunteer who leverage the expertise and skill to one certain organization, apply applying the grant for them and then the the organization can use the grant to expand to better serve the community. Another program of IBM, the IBM the Esther response. At IBM we have the people like me, CC and C A in each country. We have to be prepared for any unexpected disaster if it happens in the country. IBM will immediately address those social issues to help the country, to help the community. For example, the um, typhoon in Philippines last year. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, last year. What the IBM team there doing after the typhoon hit the Philippines? The IBM team team up and help the Ministry of um, kind of the um, Ministry of Health Healthcare to help them track the database of those injuries of those um, of those of the patients for the typhoon and then they have to better record and better having the first aid to help those victims from the typhoon. Yeah. SS, as IBM already done this kind of the corporate citizenship program integrate our our business cover into this kind of program. So this is the impact of our our work on the community that we can retain of our talent. We can drive more technology and innovation, gaining the new business insights before our client do and also having the having the award from over the world. Okay, that's all for today.